Hi everyone, this is Diane Hall from channelinglove.net and I'm just going to do the readings for October 2021 but I just thought I'd do a quick collective introduction to talk about what I'm going to be focusing on. So as we've got Mars going through, going through Libra for the whole of October and lots of planets in retrograde, I'm just going to focus on what it is that we need to really focus our energy on. So we've got um, a lot of uh, energy Energy that's asking us to be reflective, to rethink things, to um, you know refocus ourselves in some sense and we've also at the same time got a huge amount of energy pushing us forward in a in a particular area of our lives so it feels very powerful it feels like a really big time of redirection and um, refocusing and just you know having a lot of energy to galvanize ourselves again to start moving forward it feels as if we've been a bit stuck in one particular e particular area for a while and just kind of trapped like a deer in the headlights thinking what is the, what's going to happen in the world what's the world doing now what what can we really move forward with and lots of shift lots of transitions lots of changes for lots of us and um, this focus for October is going to be on looking at where Mars is going to be giving you extra energy to make big changes in your life. So I hope you enjoy this and um, yeah just comment below and let me know and have a great October. I think it's going to be very very interesting and it has the potential to be extremely powerful. Okay bye. Hi Pisces and welcome to your October 2021 reading. This is Diane Hall from channelinglove.net and I hope you enjoy um, October. So basically the energy for you is all going to be focused on your eighth house. So this is going to be about intimacy and trust. It's going to be about your personal big vision for your finances, anything at all to do with large amounts of money, how you handle your finances, taxes, inheritances, um, loans, anything at all to do with big money or um, you know the structuring of your financial reality and also your ability to trust. So that's kind of connected to trust because sometimes what we learn is how to trust the universe, trust God, trust the divine, trust and know that we're going to be taken care of and for you I feel that that's part of the story in um, October Pisces but I feel it's also going to be a question of you shifting your mentality about those things because you know you're 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 all about the intangibles. Quite often you're all about the spiritual journey, the connection with God, with the divine, the angels, the ascended masters, but you're not so much focused on the bigger picture of where your financial reality is going. And it could be that in October you actually start to put some energy and focus into that and you start to allow yourself to become much more level-headed and, and forward-thinking and much more of a planner in that respect. It could also be that you allow someone to get close to you so that intimacy but that intimacy also feels a little bit like you know the trust thing around everything right now so as you ask yourself whether you can trust the universe to look care look after you and take care of your needs you're also asking whether you can allow another person to to come into your world to get in that closely okay but you are being asked to put some energy into that. So let's just see what that all means and I'm choosing deliberately the dolphins and mermaids for you because it's very watery and you're very watery and um, let's just see what we've got. We've got positive energy. So what I feel about this Pisces is that you're actually putting positive energy out there now to try to manifest a goal or a dream, a financial goal or dream or wish, okay? I feel as if you're tired of swimming in the shallows is what I've just heard, as if you want to go deeper on this journey now. You want to stop um, dismissing that, that aspect of life and you, start, you want to start 
having some kind of control and mastery over it so that you don't have to struggle and suffer anymore. I feel as if you're starting to make a connection between um, your ability to gain mastery over your material reality and your ability to enjoy your spiritual reality. You know, in other words, that if you have a strong financial foundation, you will be able to enjoy your spiritual journey much more. It could be for some of you that you're applying for or thinking of applying for some kind of a loan or a grant or something that's actually going to be of benefit to um, the planet that's going to allow you to do some work that's that's actually of a spiritual nature in some way and you need that backing behind you to allow you to do it and I've just heard meditation for some of you you know you might be thinking of starting a meditation group or some kind of initiative that involves teaching people how to meditate or it could just be that you have realized you want to spend more time in meditation in contemplation on your spiritual path and that you therefore need to restructure your material reality to support you to give you the time to do that and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be ambitious for some it will mean minim minimalism and downsizing and finding a way to go out and live on the land or something like that you know it could be anything for anyone um positive energy and manifestation don't necessarily mean that we're always looking for a bigger thing or more stuff sometimes it means that we just want to create a life that's in accordance with our true deep needs and the true self you know that we are um so if that is for you someone who wants to go on an even deeper spiritual journey i feel you're going to start putting energy into finding ways of making that happen in your practical reality you're also being asked to surround yourself with more positive people so if you feel let down by people in your community family um groups that you've belonged to in the past places people that you've lived with situations that you've experienced or endured i'm just hearing you're going to also be thinking in terms of how you can start to have more positive connections with people you're going to start wondering where are all the positive people rather than just wandering and bumbling blindly into relationships and connections without actually feeling your way into those um what those connect connections actually mean and what they actually bring you're going to start deciding and choosing consciously Yes, what connections are going to be of value to you and what sort of connections are going to allow you to grow into the positive person you want to become, the person who can grow your, I hate this expression, net worth. You know, they say your network is your net worth, which I don't know how I feel about that, but it's sort of something to do with, um, you know, how we start to resonate on the same frequency as the people that we have around us. So therefore, you know, look for people around you who reflect back to you the values of the kind of life that you want to create now. Yes, if you've always been surrounded by people who are struggling and suffering in a particular way, um, but you don't want to do that anymore, then maybe you want to find people who have found a way to make it work. Yes, so you're struggling and suffering because being on a spiritual path means self-sacrifice and struggling and suffering. If people have been mirroring that back to you, maybe it's time for you to meet people who are making that work now. People who are on a deeply spiritual path, but who also have the financial backing and abundance behind them that allows them to do that comfortably, to live that life joyfully and peacefully and to spread joy and peace as they go along their path okay Pisces that feels like one of the big shifts for you actually um and now I, I completely have forgotten um which house this is the eighth house right okay so for you it's the eighth, eighth house so that's also to do with how you're investing in yourself that makes absolute sense how are you investing in yourself how are you investing your time and energy because it's about investments yes as well so it's not just about the finances that you invest if you if all you have right now is your time and energy and your love are you investing them in the right places, in the right people, in the right ventures, in the right way of life? All of these things are going to become clearer to you in October and you're going to start putting energy into the right areas. But really, I feel financial backing is, is 
kind of in the back of my head. You need some kind of financial backing, funding, and I feel as if you're gonna start approaching that from more of a practical and business-like sensibility rather than um, the sort of a, a hapless kind of um, hippie <laughs> sensibility. I mean, that is not a judgment at all. I know many, many, many of us on this path have those challenges. Um, so that is not a criticism. I completely understand it. But it feels as if you're going to be structuring your reality around this area much more and having more forward thinking and planning than before. Okay, this is your card from the angels. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. For some of you, it will be this reading. For some of you, you will have come here thinking, okay, I need to get some clarity about this, about this venture that I'm thinking. This, again, is not financial advice. It's not anything like that. But if you were thinking of investing more time and energy into getting your finances in order somehow, then this could be the sign that you were looking for. But look in the universe as well. Look around you that your angels and guides will be sending you lots of signs around this time regarding the direction that would be for your highest good but remember that's your creation they won't ever tell you how to live your life but they will mirror back to you exactly what it is that you are um, wanting to manifest at this time and it's all about just noticing how things tie up you know that looking for the signs looking for the signals looking waiting letting the earth speak to you you know letting the birds speak to you letting the you know your dreams what, whatever it is you're going to get some very good powerful signs Pisces about how to move ahead on this path one more from this card and then we'll look at the um, angel guidance card so the miracle of nature what did we just say um, about the possibility of wanting to live on the land and live closer to the, to nature and you know allowing nature to give you those signs so are some of you thinking of something that's like a vision quest i don't know some kind of shamanic journeying some kind of uh, trip maybe even to experience something that connects you more with nature i feel a real stillness a real peace for some of you the answers to your financial situation and how to upgrade your uh, i don't know portfolio your your vision of finances the way to do that is going to come to you through a deep meditation and a connection with nature and somewhere that you go that it seems unlikely <laughs> that you would get information of that nature coming through. If you haven't been meditating Pisces, you're being asked to start meditate, your meditation practice again because some of the answers and the inspirations are waiting to come to you through, through that um, channel, okay? I'm going to pick one more card for you from the Angel Answers deck. Just give me one more word, Spirit, to, to show Pisces what they need to know about their investments, about their assets, about, you know, including themselves, including their heart, including their gifts and talents, where they need to be investing their time and energy. They've just said stop. Okay. Within the next few weeks. So that's just confirmation that October is going to be a very powerful month for you because what this means is that within the next few weeks you are going to start to see some kind of a, a return or a payback or a solution to a problem that's been with you for quite a long time. I'm going to pick the next card down, opportunity. So there's an opportunity coming within the next few weeks but it's not going to be from out of the blue something that you are going to be inspired with something that's going to come to you through meditation that you are going to realize that you have the capacity to create an opportunity where there wasn't one before and you're going to make it happen so i hope that helps you and it's going to help you to increase your overall sense of you know what you have you're going to realize what you have at your disposal yes and um yes I'll leave it there, Pisces. Have a great month. I think it's going to be really, really interesting for you. Um, so take care. Have a good October. Bye.